So in the following screencast, we're going to take a look at how one can make a screencast as a way to provide short instruction uh, to students or fellow colleagues so that when uh, you're back in a classroom or studio, uh, the work is uh, much more guided and self-paced and uh, a lot more learning by doing rather than watching. Uh, so I'm going to use a tool that's on every laptop at Blake called QuickTime to record my uh, video. When I open up the QuickTime player, um, I need to choose uh, that I want to create a screen recording. Once I do so, um, I'm going to get a little window that looks like this. There's a couple of uh, small tricks that I just need to be really careful of, especially if I'm using this for the first time. I need to choose the drop down arrow and choose the built in microphone in order to capture the audio. By default, it will be set to none. And then I'll also need to make sure that the show mouse clicks um, is checked so that uh, when I'm watching a video, I can see where the uh, mouse and the pointer is actually clicking. Once I'm ready to start recording my video, I can just click the little red button. By default, it will uh, record the entire screen, um, but if I wanted to drag an area, I would just click and hold, and I could choose just one window of my screen. But I'm going to go ahead and record the entire screen, and once I click anywhere, you'll see this little stop button uh, up here on my menu bar, which shows that it is now recording, and when I'm done recording, I'll click stop. Um, in, order to, uh, uh, in order to actually upload a recording. Um, the second part of this uh, next screencast is going to be how to save um, a screen recording and how to upload it to Google Drive or YouTube. So I'm going to stop my screen recording. It will uh, open up as a video file that I can play back. I can see that it's 25 seconds long. I can do some very basic trimming on it if I needed to. Very rough cuts. That's all that really matters. And then I'm finally going to go to File Save and I'm going to title it uh, what the actual task was, what the actual uh, goal was of this lesson. So this was uh, making a screen uh, recording with QuickTime. In the next screen recording, I'm going to show you how to, I'm saving this in my movie files, um, I'm going to show you how to place this and upload it to YouTube so that you can distribute the screen recording to colleagues and or students.